Peace and Pan Africanism, peace and Pan Africanism. Peace and Pan Africanism, peace and Pan Africanism. Peace and Pan Africanism, peace and Pan Africanism. Just the Prince of Pan Africanism. I wanted to say that I wanted to say that since Dr. King's assassination we have had 11 different presidents. Since Dr. King's assassination, we have had 11 different presidents. Since Dr. King's assassination, we have had 11 different presidents. When we look at those 11 different presidents, three of them have served two terms. Three of them have served two terms. That would be Ronald Reagan, George Bush Jr., and Barack Obama. Ronald Reagan, George Bush Jr., and Barack Obama each served two terms. The other eight have only served one term. Now, when I look at this list of 11 presidents since Dr. King's assassination, and of course, I'm including Lyndon Baines Johnson, who finished his presidency the year Dr. King was assassinated. I see a Democrat, a Republican, a Republican, a Democrat, a Republican, a Republican. We have one One, let me check. Was Gerald Ford a Republican or Democrat? Let me see. Gerald Ford. Let me do a fact check. He was a Republican, I believe, because he took over for Richard Nixon. Republican. So, Democrat, Democrat, Democrat three, Democrat four, Democrat five. You've had six Republicans, five Democrats. Six Republicans, five Democrats since Dr. King's murder, April 4th. 1968. Six Republicans, five Democrats. So basically, even amount of time in the White House. Basically, an even amount of time in the White House. Here's my question. How did we do better? I don't know what's going on with my forehead. What is this big scratch on my forehead? Hold on. What's this big scratch on my forehead? What's going on? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. But anyway. Anyway. 
Anyway, five Republicans and five, excuse me, six Republicans and five Democrats in the last 14 presidential terms. Six Republicans, five Democrats. How did we do better under the Democrats? Was there any structural difference in the treatment of African Americans? Was there any structural difference in the treatment of the American African people between Democrats and Republicans? Here's my question to the Democratic Party plantation slaves and the Republican Party plantation slaves. Was there any difference in the way black people were treated since Dr. King's murder? 78, 88, 98, 08, 18, 1921, 2, 3, 4. 56 years. Has there been any difference in the way the American African people have been treated between Democrats and Republicans? I don't see any difference at all. I see no difference in the way Democrats or Republicans treat black people. I don't see no difference. When I look at Lyndon Baines Johnson, Jimmy Carter, Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, and Donald Trump, excuse me, and Joe Biden. Lyndon Baines Johnson, Jimmy Carter, Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, and Joe Biden. I don't see anything. I don't see Lyndon Baines Johnson, Jimmy Carter, Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, and Joe Biden. That's the blue team. That's the blue team. The red team, Richard Nixon, Gerald Ford, Ronald Reagan, Bush Sr. and Jr., and Donald Trump. I don't see no differences. The only difference is the Democrats pander to the black vote, but they never deliver anything for the black vote. Democrats pander to the black vote, but they don't deliver anything for the black vote. Democrats pander to the black vote but they don't deliver anything for the black vote. Let's look at the wars that all these presidents have carried out on the black community. We're looking at all 11 presidents post Dr. King. More than a half century, we have a half century of precedent. So I don't have to listen to no Democrat. I don't have to listen to no Democratic Party plantation slave tell me to have hope in Kamala Harris. I don't need the hope. I have 56 years of tried and tested executive branch behavior that I can look at. I don't need to hope. I don't need to wait. I don't need to see. No. 56 years of evidence we have. 56 years. Same shirt as yesterday. Get you on out of here. I think that was a sand cracker anyway. I think that was a sand cracker anyway. I think that was a sand cracker anyway. But anyway, 56 years. Let's look. Lyndon Baines Johnson, a war on crime. Lyndon Baines Johnson, a war on black crime. Mass incarceration begins. Mass incarceration begins. 
Mass Lyndon Baines Johnson took office in 1963. He gave us a war on crime against black people. Richard Nixon took office in 1969. He gave us a war on drugs against black people. One was a Democrat. One was a, was a Republican. And the results were the same. One was a Democrat. One was a Republican. And the results were the same. One was a Democrat. One was a Republican. And the results were the same. Let's keep going. Gerald Ford, War on Black Public School Children. That's the special education president. Gerald Ford gave us special education. The misdiagnosing of black children in school. War against black public school children. Jimmy Carter, a Democrat, gave us a war on black population. Jimmy Carter was the one who said we got to start practicing birth control. We got to start controlling black population growth. He was a Democrat. Ronald Reagan, War on Drugs, Part 2. George Bush picked up where Reagan left off. War on Black Drugs, Part 2. Bill Clinton, the mass incarceration president. Bill Clinton was a war against the black man and a war against the single black mother. Bill Clinton, war against the black man and war against the single black woman. I don't like Republicans or Democrats. I don't take sides with white power. So you can miss me with that. I don't like Republicans or Democrats. I'm giving you both. But you're such a Democratic Party plantation slave. You're such a Democratic Party plantation slave. You can't even recognize when somebody is given both parties equal accountability. Equal accountability. Bill Clinton, war on black men, war on single black mothers. He kicked all the women off welfare. He kicked all the women off welfare. He kicked all the women off welfare. He took all them fathers away from their families. Mass incarceration, Bill Clinton. He took all them fathers away from their families. Mass incarceration, Bill Clinton. George Bush, war on the black community. He was the gentrification president. George Bush Jr., the gentrification president. George Bush Jr., the gentrification president. He took over the black community. He started the gentrification of the black community. Barack Obama. Y'all ready for this one? Barack Obama. Y'all ready for this one? Barack Obama started a global war against the traditional black family. Barack Obama started a global war against the traditional black family. Barack Obama started a global war against the traditional black Bar Barack Obama went into the public schools and start indoctrinating our children against traditional black family. He went to Africa and tried to bully them into accepting non-traditional black Barack Obama, his contribution to the destruction of African civilization in America. He is the father of the global war against the traditional black family. After Barack Obama, the black family would never be the same. After, I don't need to explain. If you, if you lived during Barack Obama's presidency, you know that he was all about pushing non-traditional family systems. I don't need to get into it. Barack Obama was all about pushing non-traditional family systems. So I don't need to break that down. You might need special ed if you need that to be broken down. Barack Obama destroyed the traditional black family with his sexual agenda. His sexual agenda. Block, get him out of here. He was the first president in American history to openly support the non-traditional family. He was the first president in American history to support the non-traditional black family. Barack 
Obama. Donald Trump, war on black justice. Donald Trump, war on black justice. He did nothing to stop police genocide. Donald Trump did nothing to stop police genocide and he killed five black men. Federal execution, Donald Trump, five black men. He doesn't get my vote. He doesn't get my vote. Joe Biden is a war on black inclusion. Joe Biden, war on black inclusion. Joe Biden eliminated black people from the social discourse in America. Joe Biden eliminated black people from all consideration for inclusion. So somebody tell me, which of these 11 presidents did us any good? Can somebody tell me, put your emotions to the side. Put your emotions to the side. Put your emotions to the side. Which of these presidents benefited black America? I need me an answer. I need me an answer. Let's do it again. Lyndon Baines Johnson, war on crime. Richard Nixon, war on drugs. Gerald Ford, the special education war against black boys. Jimmy Carter, war on birth control and black population control. Ronald Reagan, war on drugs part two. George Bush, war on drugs part two. Bill Clinton, a war against the black man by locking them up and war against the single black mother, taking away their husbands, taking away their husbands and kicking them off for of welfare. George Bush Jr. gentrified the black community. Oh, gentrification war against black people. George Bush Jr. Barack Obama, war against the traditional black family. All over the world, Barack Obama went into black communities and tried to bully them into accepting non-traditional African family structure. Barack Obama, war against the traditional black family. Donald Trump, war on black justice. Joe Biden, war against black inclusion. Y'all want me to vote for who? Y'all want me to vote for who? Biden didn't close no wealth gap. You a liar and I'm a block you for lying. Biden didn't close no damn wealth gap. You's a Negro being. I didn't tell nobody not to vote. I'm a block you too. I'm a block you too. You coon. Voting ain't gonna matter until you organize your votes. You Negro pen. Voting is not gonna matter until you organize your votes. They go another one. All these damn Democratic Party plantation slaves. I'm trying to have a meeting with the runaway slaves and the house Negroes keep invading the feed. This is alive for the runaway slaves. If you are a plantation loyalist, if you are a house, get off my feet. This is not alive for the plantation Negroes. This is not alive for the house Negroes. This is alive for the runaway slaves, the self-emancipated Africans. If you are not a self-emancipated African, please get off my life. Please get off my life. This is for the runaway slaves only. Better wise known as self-emancipated Africans. This is not for Democratic Party plantation slaves. This is not for Republican Party plantation slaves. This is not for Green Party plantation slaves. This is not for Libertarian Party plantations. If you are not a self-emancipated African, hop off the line. I'm so sick and tired of plantation slaves trying to convince the runaways not to run away. Why are the Democratic Party plantation slaves trying to convince the runaway Africans to stay on the plantation? Why are the Democratic Party plantation slaves trying to convince the runaway Africans to come back to the plantation? 
Why do you want us to come back to the plantation? Do they have any jobs on the plantation? Any police reform on the plantation? Do they have reparations on the plantation? Do they got a solution for the migrant crisis on the plantation? Why are you trying to make us come back to the plantation after we didn't already ran away? We still need to vote for our local reps in Congress. If they're offering something, if they're offering something, we need to vote. Stop telling black people to vote for nothing. Listen. To vote for nothing is the same as not voting at all. To vote for nothing is the same as not voting at all. To tell black people to vote for nothing is the same as not voting at all. It's the same as not voting at all. I've been ran away from the Democratic Party plantation. And I ain't never going back. I've been ran away from the Democratic Party plantation. And I ain't never going back. And my Republican Party plantation slaves, don't try to make me run to the other plantation. A plantation is a plantation. Slavery is slavery, whether the house is red or the house is blue. No vote is not a vote. Don't get blocked. Don't get blocked. Is Dr. Umar voting for Trump? I'm blocking you because you hard headed. I just told you I'm not voting for neither candidate until I get some concessions, some publicly proclaimed concessions for the American African people. I didn't told you Negroes that, but you so brainwashed. You're so emotional. You're so brainwashed. You're so emotional. God is in control. See that? More plantation psychosis. More plantation psychosis. God is in control. No, you're in control. Stop being a coward. You're in control. Stop being a coward. Yes, I would love to meet both candidates. I would love to meet both candidates they're not going to meet with nobody who's going to ask them any serious questions. Kamala, Al Sharpton is going to get out there soon for Kamala Harris. How much I want to bet? Al Sharpton is going to be out there soon with no promises at all. Watch. Watch. First of all, why are you identifying with a party? You use politicians. You don't identify with them. You're supposed to use politicians. You're not supposed to identify with them. You are supposed to use politicians, not identify. You're not a part of the club. You are not a part of the club. What is wrong with you American Africans? What is wrong with you American Africans? You don't belong to the party. You got a red chicken wing and a blue chicken wing and they both belong to the same bird. We so emotional. Fighting for Kamala Harris, she ain't never fought for you, ain't said one thing for us. Kamala Harris ain't gonna drop no agenda cause you not in it. She's gonna say multicultural, minority, people of color. She's not gonna mention black people. Kamala Harris ain't going to mention black people. Kamala Harris is not going to mention black people. She's going to say minorities. People of color. And y'all going to think she's talking about y'all. She's talking about Indians, Arabs, rainbow gangers, immigrants, migrants, Latinos, she's not talking about you when she says minority. 
She's not talking about you when she says people of color. She's not talking about you when she says multicultural. Scamala Harris versus Agent Orange. No, sister, it is our business how you vote. It is our business how you vote because we are a community. Community is a compound word that means common unity. We are a community. A community is a compound word. It means common unity. So how you vote or don't vote, it matters. I'm saying we get concessions in vote or we don't get concessions and we don't vote. That's it. That's it. That's it. She's still better than the other person. That's more plantation philosophy. She's still better than the other person. Based on what? They're both horrible. You're still trying to convince black people to vote Democrat. You plantation slaves. I told you. I told you. This is a lie for runaway Africans. If you're not a runaway African, get off my life. If you are not a runaway African, please get off my life. If you want a democratic plantation or the... Get off my life. I ain't seen a platform for our community from either candidate. I haven't seen a platform from either candidate regarding our community. Another plantation slave, Lord have mercy. Another plantation slave. What do you suggest we do? I'm going to tell you again, my sister. I said it a million times. Y'all so hard-headed because you only want to hear what you want to hear. I've said it already a million times. Organize your vote. Demand concessions. Or hold your vote. If they're not going to do nothing for us, we should not be voting. If they're not, who should we vote for? I didn't, you know what? I'm so through with you plantation slaves. I am so through with you plantation slaves. I don't know what happened to my head. I woke up like this and I don't know why. What is this? I got a whole whelp going across my head. I don't know where it came from. I don't know where it came from. Give me something for my vote or leave me alone. I'm not trying to unify with all black people because not all black people are unifiable. I'm not trying to unify with all Africans in the diaspora because not all Africans in the diaspora are unifiable. I'm not trying to unify with all American Africans because not all American Africans are unifiable. Not all American Africans are unifiable. I want to unify with those who have the same vision, the same mission. I want to unify with those who have the same vision, the same mission. I'm not trying to unify with Charles Snow Bunny Barkley. I'm not trying to unify with Candace Owens. I'm not trying to unify with Oprah Winfrey and Supreme Court Justice Terrence Coon Thomas. 
uh-uh. If you ain't got the same vision, if you ain't got the same mission, I don't want nothing to do with you. And that's coming from a pan-Africanist. That's coming from, I'm not blocked. Don't come on here using the N-word, you will be blocked. Don't come on here using the N-word. Nobody's a lost cause, my sister. We just got to raise the babies better. Demand and organize, or should I say organize and demand. Donald Trump will make the police untouchable, but migrants and rainbow gangers will be held in control. Kamala Harris will make migrants and rainbow gangers untouchable, and police will still get away with everything they do to us. When I get to the United Kingdom, I'm standing in solidarity with my British African family. Whatever happens, happens. I'm standing with my British African family. We will not allow them to attack our women, our children, or our elders. When I get to the UK, it is what it is. You can take it how you want to take it. We are sorry for the loss of life of those three beautiful children. We are absolutely sorry for the loss of life of those three beautiful children in the United Kingdom. But you are not going to punish innocent British Africans. You are not going to attack innocent British Africans. You are not going to lynch and hurt and kill innocent British Africans because your governmental mental health system did not provide that young man with the services and supports that he needs. So if we got to go to Manchester and stand with Manchester, if we got to go to Bristol and stand with Bristol, if I got to go to London and stand with London, Wolverhampton, if I got to go to Birmingham and stand with Birmingham, if we got to go to Liverpool and stand with Liverpool, when I'm in the UK, I am a British African. When I am in the UK, I am a British African. When I am in the UK, I am a British African. African. Listen. Somebody tapping. Who tapping in? Who tapping in? Big Leo energy. Who coming to Nat Turner Land August the 21st? Who coming to Nat Turner Land August the 21st? Who coming to Nat Turner Land August? Text my phone, good brother. 215-989-9858. United Kingdom Africans, put a plus one in front or hit me on WhatsApp. United Kingdom Africans, put a plus one or hit me on WhatsApp. 
Where my Haitians at? Where my Haitians at?